Today I'm going to do the My Hair Story tag. It's basically a tag talking about what my hair looked like when I was born and how it evolved as I grew older into a teenager and an adult. Even if you don't care about the hair stories, I hope you decide to stick around because I have a bunch of old pictures that I'm going to be showing throughout the video illustrating how my hair and I changed during my life. What kind of hair were you born with? My hair was brown, like a chestnutty brown, and it was quite fine and it was straight. How did your hair change as you grew and evolved? Well, you will notice that my hair was short when I was a kid and that's because I wasn't allowed to grow it long because when my mom brushed my hair I was always screaming because it hurt so much and it was always a big drama and my mom was like no way we're growing your hair long because if you are screaming like this with short hair can you imagine what it would be like with long hair? She had a point I was always you know, yelling and crying, and, but it just hurt, you know? And then when I was old enough to kind of brush my own hair and everything, I was allowed to grow it longer, and you will see that I've had long hair since. So the only thing that changed since then was my hair color. My hair color has changed quite a bit. And then my bangs, I had bangs, I had no bangs, and I had different bangs, and I had no bangs again and the length. So I've always had long hair since, but I have cut it. I still cut it. You know, sometimes I cut a really big piece off, sometimes just a little bit. It just depends. And the longest I've had my hair was a little bit below knee length. And the reason why I don't have it that long anymore is because I don't think it's comfortable, it's not practical at all, and it wasn't pretty. When my hair grows past classic length, which is below your butt, it gets really thin and it starts growing into a V and then you can actually see through it and it just gets tangled and it's just not pretty anymore, in my opinion. Do you have any fun childhood hair memories? Well, yeah, when I was a child I had a lot of fairy tale books, well I still have them, and um, the princesses always had beautiful long hair and I wanted that too. So I wanted to grow my hair long, but as I said in the other question, I wasn't allowed to grow my hair long when I was a child. The local hairdresser had bath pearls in her salon, so she had these glass jars full of bath pearls um, ordered by color. And every time I had my hair cut, I was allowed to get a few bath pearls, which I loved, and I still love anything bath related, but I loved those bath pearls. I started kind of taking advantage of it. I was like, if you cut this much off, I want one bath pearl. If you cut that much off, I want two. If you cut that much off, I want three. And then as you know, I got older, I wanted, you know, three bath pearls for just a little piece and I kind of up the stakes a little bit and then my mom was like, well, she apparently she really wants long hair, so we're just gonna let her try and I was allowed to grow my hair, yay! And I never went back, so... Have you ever colored your hair? And if yes, when? Yeah, I have colored my hair quite a lot. I've been looking for pictures, but I really don't have pictures of every single hair color I've ever had, unfortunately. I found a few, so I'm going to show you guys. Um, mostly, so my natural hair color is chestnut brown, and the colors I've had are all different shades of reds and different shades of blacks. So no browns, no blondes, no blues and purples, although I've tried but you can't see that on my hair and I do not want to bleach my hair. So if I if I could just choose any color, I would have pink and turquoise and baby blue and you know violet and things like that, but you have to bleach your hair for those kinds of colors and I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to ruin my hair. So I'm just going to wait until my hair is gray and it's starting to get gray. I'm getting gray hairs. Oh my gosh. I'm so old. But when I have gray hair, 
I can use those crazy colors. I'll be this little old lady with pink hair or turquoise hair. Oh yeah, that will be me. Have you ever had a hair disaster? Oh yeah. I one particular one comes to mind immediately. I was I I was on the way back from a trip to Austria with a friend and we were in the car and her dad was driving and he opened the windows and so it was like a lot of wind coming my way and my hair was flapping everywhere and I just I could just feel a tangle really badly but I was too shy or scared to say anything so I was just sitting there all unhappy and freaking out because I could feel it happening by the time we got home my hair just looked like a rat's nest when my family saw that they were not impressed because um, I'm sure you know kids nowadays are um, a lot more independent and they grow up really quickly but at the time I was 11 and I actually didn't wash my hair myself yet and I still you know my mom still kind of combed it and, and braided it and stuff so I actually learned to look after my own hair for that trip and coming home like that made them think that I wasn't able to which was not true because my hair looked great the whole trip it was tangle free, it looked perfect and then I came home like that and it was horrible and my mom was freaking out, she was like oh we're gonna have to cut off all of your hair and I was crying and I was like oh my hair don't cut it off but my sister saved the day which is kind of funny because when we were kids now we're best friends but when we were kids we were I'm not gonna say we hated each other but we were we were fighting all the time we were horrible to each other but when it mattered at moments where it mattered my sister was there for me every single time and that was a moment where she she knew she just had to step up and she grabbed me uh, dragged me to the bathroom and um, she was very patient putting on loads of conditioner and we got my hair back to normal and I was so relieved and so happy and so grateful and yes that was my hair horror story have you made peace with your hair yeah I don't have any issues with my hair um, it, I never really had any issues with my hair I liked it except that I always wanted to have curly hair but that's typical everybody with curly hair seems to want stray hair at some point in their lives and the other way around so I wanted to have curls and I tried different things luckily I never tried a perm which is good <laughs> because that would have probably ruined my hair but I tried a lot of things but the curls just sag really quickly and yeah but that's the only thing other than that I've always been happy with you know pretty happy with my hair color with the length with what it looks like yeah no it's good <laughs> the fact that I'm starting to get a gray hair here and there that I have kind of an issue with but it's not really gray it's this really shiny silver so I'm not getting gray hair I'm getting silver hair so that's kind of cool but I don't know I used to pull them out and I'm now I'm not pulling them out and sometimes someone says oh you have a gray hair and I'm like oh, no it's, just, it's more like here and oh, now you're gonna look um, yeah but you know that's just life <laughs> I'm getting old <laughs> your top three must have hair products you cannot live without Wow, oh my gosh, I've used so many hair products over the years. Oh, I have one, um, Gliscure Anti-Tangle uh, Spray, the, the yellow one, where is it? It used to be orange and now it's yellow, yeah. I love that, that is amazing. Everyone with long hair should have that. And secondly, um, oh, Luscious R&B, Luscious R&B is awesome. And the third, 
I would just say generally conditioner and hair masks. There are a lot of good brands, but just I cannot live without conditioner and hair masks. What is your go-to hairstyle? I don't really have a go-to hairstyle. Um, I do a lot of different things with my hair, different braids, different updos, you know, but um, a lot of hair accessories as well. I, you know, I change my look with hair accessories a lot too. But I would say what I do a lot when I just when I'm just staying at home and I want to be comfortable is a low braid or a low bun and also um, the Chinese bun with the ponytail which is an, a hairdo I kind of came up with myself and I have a video on it if you want to see I will link it what are your favorite hair tips guys I have so many hair tips I can't even begin to name them um, I've shared some with you in previous videos and I'm going to be sharing many many more in future videos so I'm not going to go into them in detail I'm just going to name a few that are favorites and I will explain them in detail in future videos so one is uh, to spray your hair ends with demineralized water a second one is do not wash your hair every single day a third one is to regularly uh, rinse your hair with um, vinegar, yes, and well, those are three really good ones, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who is your hair idol? I have to think about that one because I didn't really have a hair idol, but I came up with someone and it's actually a fellow YouTuber. Her name is Spanky Valentine. You might know her. She's pretty funny and she's very beautiful and I love her curly long hair. What do you love about your hair? I quite like my natural hair color. I only color it because it's just fun to change now and then, but I quite like my hair color. I also love how it's easy to maintain. I have easy hair. I really like that my hair is longer than the norm. You know, you don't see a lot of people in the street with um, hair this long or longer. And especially once you're older than 30, people are brutal <laughs> about it. They're like, you're not a teenager anymore. You have to cut your hair. Why? Who says that? Everybody? Well, first, not everybody. And secondly, what do they care? I mean, it's a, my hair. <laughs> it's my hair. Nobody has to say anything about it, you know? Um, nobody has the right to tell me I need to cut my hair just because I'm a certain age. Yeah, I'm 34. So what? I have long hair. Deal with it. Um, I like it. I like my long hair. I will continue to have long hair and I'm probably going to be a 90 year old with silver hair that is going to um, nag the people in the nursing home to get her a jar of hot pink manic panic and to dye her hair pink. That's the kind of person I'm going to be. The kind of old person. And uh, yeah, and I'll probably still be doing YouTube videos and telling you all to not care about what anyone says and to just grow that hair and dye pink. Oh yeah. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this hair tag video. It was a difficult one because I had a whole bunch of issues with my camera and oh, oh, like... Yeah, sorry. I really hope you enjoyed the video and especially all the old pictures I showed you guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked seeing those. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!